Hey guys, these are five free things that you can do to improve your health. Now, a lot of people think that being healthy is expensive, but I was poor for a long time and I know for a fact that you can be healthy on a budget. And so these five things, they are all completely free and each one of them will guarantee to improve your life. Number one on our list is to go gluten free. And a lot of people might not believe this. They might say, oh, my doctor says gluten is fine. Well, for any of the doubters, we offer the following proposition. If anybody goes gluten free for at least two weeks, 14 full days, number one, they should feel a lot better by the 15th day. Number two, if they're still in any doubt, then we advise eating gluten on the 15th day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Usually the pain endured is enough to prove the point that gluten was a problem. The main gluten grains are going to be wheat, barley, and rye, but we would also include oats and quinoa on the avoid list. Avoiding all of these things is free, all of these foods will be causing damage whether you believe it or not. And in general, a grain-free lifestyle is going to be the best for us in the modern world. Now there are many people promoting this, the keto people, the paleo people, the Atkins diet, and many other popular diets out there. And any diet that avoids gluten or grains in general is going to have a lot of followers of that diet who claim to have major health improvements. Some people might say, oh, what the gluten-free options are more expensive. Cookies are not a necessity at all. Bread is not a necessity at all. So the gluten-free options are a luxury, not a necessity in any way. Number two is salt. Using enough salt. The modern world for some reason thinks that salt is bad, whereas salt is the most important nutrient. There isn't a farmer on earth who can be profitable without providing their animals with as much salt as they want. The animals know how much salt they need, and they need exactly that amount. Any less than there will be a problem. Soldiers in ancient times were paid in salt during various times in history. This is where we get the word salary. This is because you can pillage food all day, but you can't digest it without salt. Doctors telling people to avoid salt are harming their health. Therefore, using enough salt is one free way that you can dramatically improve your health. You need salt to have a strong stomach acid. You need a strong stomach acid to digest every other nutrient and digest food. We recommend salting your food to taste. This means putting enough salt on the food so that you can taste it and then stop. It doesn't mean salt as much as you like. If it is too salty, you will not be able to consume it. Your body's salt meter is very, very sensitive. It will tell you exactly when it's had enough. Now salt isn't completely free, but it's basically free. And using enough salt will spare you a whole lot of misery. You will never need to spend any money on Tums or any stomach acid lowering drug or any pain reliever for any of these problems. Number three, liquid drinks. Now this on the list, this is probably the most money saving tip that is on this list. I've personally saved tens of thousands of dollars by not consuming liquid drinks from a store unless I absolutely have to. And in the health business, it's pretty easy to sell water filters because we can very easily do the math and show that buying bottled water is just not economical. And when we're talking about any of the other drinks that are in a convenience store or a grocery store, most of them are harmful actually. So sodas are on our bad list anyways, carbonated drinks are on our bad list of what we should avoid some sodas are much worse than others like colas are probably the worst but we can get tremendous benefit by avoiding all carbonated drinks and we can save a whole ton of money by never buying anything carbonated and we can also save ourselves any resulting misery from any stomach problems caused by the carbonation or mineral problems bone problems osteoporosis arthritis caused by again the carbonation this can be a long explanation it's much easier for us just to avoid it energy drinks are another big ripoff energy drinks are usually marketed because they actually contain a essential nutrients that are known to be responsible for having energy. So if we simply consume the 90 essential nutrients, we don't need to buy basically scam drinks. Taurine and arginine particularly can be found in many foods, thiamine B1 and other nutrients that are found in so-called energy drinks. These are again, essential nutrients. We can get them in food, we can get them in supplements, way cheaper than we can buy a liquid energy drink. Coffee is another one, although coffee is relatively cheap when you buy it out at a store, sometimes it's a dollar or two, we can still make it at home for much, much, much cheaper with our own filtered water. We can feel good about it and know that the water's clean, the coffee's clean because we pick good coffee, and even a good solid organic fair trade coffee is probably going to actually add up to less than the standard McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts coffee that you would buy. It'll cost you less to make a good coffee at home than it will to buy one outside. And there's questionable ingredients that can be in the outside coffee. 
Water is on this list too. I wouldn't buy water unless I had to. Normally I have filter water and I have a receptacle that I would take with me, fill it up. Normally wherever I'm going, the person that I'm going to visit, they also have water filter or they have a source of clean water. I can fill up my receptacle. If I'm on the road and I have to buy something, I will buy a gallon of distilled water and add salt to it. I wouldn't buy reverse osmosis water in a drinking bottle because they usually remineralize it and those inorganic minerals are questionable. So I would buy distilled water and I would put my own salt in it. And last on my drink list is alcohol. Of course, we can save a heck of a lot of money by never buying alcohol. We can save ourselves any of the health dramas that can be involved with alcohol consumption. And we can stay focused on our overall goals. We don't need alcohol. Number four for free things to do for our health. Basic exercise is free. Stretching, yoga, there's all types of low impact exercises that we can do completely for free. We can walk around the block, we can do free yoga instruction from YouTube, and we can do many lymphatic exercises for free. All of this will promote healthy circulation and healthy circulation is absolutely important for a healthy body. Other free forms of circulation or lymphatic exercise could be a swing set at the local park, a trampoline if you have one available, and swimming. Number five on our list of free things to do to improve for the health are to avoid the rest of the bad foods. The glutens on our list are very obviously causing problems. Most people will just feel a lot better as soon as they stop avoiding them. But the rest of these things on our list are more long-term. They contribute long-term damage to chronic diseases, basically, especially cancer. So we want to avoid burned food, burned animal fats, well done red meat unless it's boiled because it doesn't go over 100 degrees Celsius. So anything charred, anything blackened, any red meat cooked all the way through unless boiled. We also recommend avoiding cooking oils, any heated oils, any oxidized oils, deep fried food, oils in processed foods, processed foods generally. The skins of baked potatoes might be a weird one to some people, but the skins of baked potatoes only when they're baked are particularly bad and they will add up a lot if you eat them a lot. So you can avoid them for free. You could avoid grains in general for free. The grain-free lifestyle, in my opinion, is going to be the healthiest lifestyle with the least amount of health complaints available. Just living a grain-free lifestyle is going to really, really ratchet up your chances of being healthy. And last on our list is processed meat. And this is anything with nitrates or nitrites, deli meats, ham, salami, turkey, bacon, pepperoni, bologna, any processed meats, including the new style ones, which are preserved with celery some form of celery this acts like a nitrate when it is heated it is bad for the same reason well that's our list of five free things that you can do for your health but i'm going to offer a bonus pitch here we do promote supplements and part of our pitch is that when we consume all of the essential nutrients our body reduces its hunger dramatically this means we have to eat overall less food Food is more expensive than supplements, believe it or not. Spending $1 to $5 a day on supplements could save you $10 to $50 a day on food. Many of us find that we only need one meal a day when we give our body everything that it needs. I mentioned salt earlier, often a glass of salty water is enough to knock out most cravings, especially sugar cravings, especially late at night. But adding in the other 58 essential minerals and the other 30 essential nutrients on top of that, this really gives our body what it's looking for from food. So we can hack the food demands by giving the body the nutrients instead. And overall, we can be healthy for not a lot of money. That's the message here today, guys, and I hope you appreciated it. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. And definitely check out my newest book, Fake Diseases. It covers all of the major topics that come up like birth defects, blood sugar problems, bone and joint problems, cancer, autoimmune problems, and more. And it's on Amazon for just $9.99. And the audiobook read-along version is free here on YouTube, and the link for that is in the description of this video. And for more health information, make sure to check out our YouTube or our Instagram, and you can actually message us there on the Instagram account, and we will respond to every message.